Howdy folks, welcome back. It's May 2nd, 2020. And this is day 46 of the self-quarantine here in the state of Washington. And just yesterday, Governor Jay Inslee um, told us that we're going to be doing this all the way up until May 31st. Wow. It's been a long haul. Uh, it's going to be even longer. And uh, I get it though. When you look at countries like... Uh, um, sing or places like Singapore or South Korea or New Zealand where they essentially eradicated this virus simply by strict quarantine measures uh, and they weren't short term they were long term but they got rid of it so I, I get it you know this Mars thing has never failed to amaze me um, I say a lot of things in these videos that to the casual observer who somebody who hasn't been following my uh, channel would would think that these things I say are preposterous and crazy and stupid I even see the looks on people's faces that I that are sitting with me when I show them uh, pictures of what I'm talking about and what I'm saying uh, but I can back it all up and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in the uh, description uh, links to some of the key videos that will help explain these preposterous things that I'm saying. You know, there was a war here, but I'm I'm not. It, it's it's like calling a uh, uh, a guy with a knife fighting a platoon of soldiers with uh, automatic weapons a war. These people never had a chance. They were completely blown away. And the thing is, it's the amount of destruction, it's the amount of the things that came down that covered all these square miles, must be the entire uh, Gale Crater is completely covered with man-made material. And it all came down, and you know, out of the sky. And when I think of these Star Wars movies with these... Uh, battles in space with all of these ships it's not far out at all it's exactly what happened now <clears throat> everywhere I've been showing you these uh, triangular uh, ships and this picture isn't really all that spectacular but it had on this one vessel here there were I don't know about 15 or 16 other other vessels sitting on top this is one of them right here this is a triangular craft and while it's not that great of a picture, it does show us something that I have not seen before on all of the hundreds of these that I've seen. And that is a what appears to be the propulsion system in the back of it. And that's at the far left side of the screen right now. And it has these little winglets on it that remind me of a, you know, like a 1960 Impala or something like that. Uh, very unusual. But anyway, the... This is their propulsion, I'm quite sure of it, and it usually gets broken off. So uh, that's just something we haven't seen before. Uh, otherwise, uh, you know, it's a fairly nondescript uh, vessel here. Virtually every single thing that we look at in all of these pictures of these buttes are vessels. And that's what I was looking at right here is that, that one right straight in the back there. But did you happen to notice what was in the background? You happen to see what's back there? Are you seeing it yet? Folks, this is another absolutely enormous vessel in the background sitting here. Can you see it? Coming down from the 2 o'clock position is the top where there's a turret up there. And uh, in front of that turret area is their circle. Most of these are associated, have circles, impressions on them that... Uh, I don't know what that's about, uh, but they most of them have it. And this is an absolutely enormous one. We're looking at the side primarily right here. You can see where it's splitting open. But it's also the, the top and the side is what we're looking at. Look at the size of that uh, compared to this first one we were just looking at. I mean, before, we thought this was just background back there. It was just, you know... Mount Sharp, uh, if you followed my videos at all, you'll know that Mount Sharp is nothing but a graveyard of vessels 
completely covering the ground just like every other place in Gale Crater. Um, it just goes on and on. Now this video is kind of a, you know, dyslexic a little bit. I was going to start out just showing you these vessels. Look at the size of that thing. Would you got that? I just can't get over that. Uh, it has the, uh, the, the steel plating on it, that, the strips that I've talked about before. Um, it's the perfect shape for it. It's just, that's an astounding picture. Anyway, I was going to talk about ships, uh, vessels, and uh, while there is some of that in here, it's, it's, it, it turned out to be a little bit of everything. I want to talk a little bit about these bluffs again. But here's something, now this is another vessel here. There's actually two vessels here. Actually more than that, whatever's underneath too. Good Lord, who knows how many vessels there are here. And the, the one, uh, the large area in the middle um, has this beautiful shape to it. Do you see what I'm talking about? It, it's, it's like the, uh, the bottom of a, of a boat. Um, it's perfectly shaped. Well, if, you, if you're used to being around boats or seeing the, the keel of a boat, you'd know what I'm talking about. But it's all metal. This is all ship. This is not bluffs. This is not rocks. This is bluffs, but it's not made out of anything natural. And that whole story, and I've gone over it in the past, is, is amazing. The amount of people that died, and this is ancient, folks, by the way. This is extremely ancient. Um, I've said I've been saying two million years old I'm I'm I think it's quite a bit more than that here's a vessel that I've shown before it's another triangular vessel with a turret and this thing's been blown open and there's nothing left in the middle and uh, it's one of hundreds hundreds and missiles everywhere. These people were armed, really, really, truly armed to the teeth. They were ready for a fight, but they never got in the fight. There was no fight. It, it was over before they could say boo. And the density of these vessels that have come down to create all of these hills and these bluffs it's think about it. how do you get hundreds of feet thick it's 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 a it's something to ponder uh, it, I don't understand it I know what I'm looking at but everything in that in these pictures folks is made out of metal every single thing um, that's why I say there's no rocks and you know when you have bluffs uh, in, in the on Earth, and uh, around the bluffs is all that sand. Well, presumably the sand is from uh, from the rocks and the wind and and uh, erosion and everything. It creates that sand, and that's natural. We understand that completely. Look at the gun on that thing. And this is another vessel that was cut in half, perfectly cut in half. Look at that. Anyway, the sand, I, if it's anything like the sand on Earth, this sand was made by the surrounding materials, and the surrounding materials is metal. I don't think we could even really walk anywhere around there, because that metal is thin and crusty, and uh, you'd have to have boots made out of steel. Uh, it would just cut everything up. I just don't know how you could. But anyway... Uh, even I have no doubt that this sand isn't something that's been blowing around this is from the local area and the local area is all metal isn't that a bizarre thought to think you have metal sand what else could it be this is an amazing clear picture here uh, it's just some debris that came down. Uh, it, it shows that some of the technology there, whatever that is. Uh, very interesting shapes. It's a, a really a 
an amazing picture, uh, one of the clearest that you'll ever see. Very interesting shapes. These are things that are just torn off and torn out of and just destroyed. And now virtually every, well, every um, cliff side or top of these bluffs are made of vessels. And uh, there's one here that's very, very clear. Uh, one of the clearest that we've seen. And it uh, clearly has a turret on it with a gun. And if you look all the way to the left, it has this uh, sort of a tail fin uh, structure. And this vessel's been uh, cut in half, or not cut in half, but broken in half. And I don't know what it was with the affinity that these folks had for triangular vessels, because as I said, I've seen hundreds and hundreds of them. And, and not only that, there's hundreds and hundreds of missiles all around everywhere. These missiles didn't get fired off. This battle was over. I think they went to bed. It must have had to have been a surprise attack by an incredibly overwhelming force. Something that was far beyond their technology. All the way from the right to the left is another triangular vessel. On the left side is the, uh, the point of it, the, the tip. And uh, again, this one is, uh, you know, it, it's not all that special, but there's a lot of interesting debris on the top. Uh, all kinds of stuff going every which way. I can't remember if this one had a circle on it. Um, I don't remember, but most of them do. They don't all, and sometimes they're, they're covered up. You know, and I, I think of Mount Sharp and how amazing that was to me uh, going over that inch by inch like I do with all of these pictures and to think that it's completely covered with this metal debris of uh, not only downed crafts but but the whole entire mountain is covered with with strips of uh, of metal that are uh, you know, design like, like the, the hull of a ship. Uh, again, this will be in the videos. I'm going to post them in the link. And if you don't believe me, go look. It's, it's an amazing thing. And these bluffs, as I have said, are, are not, there's no rocks here. This is all made up of vehicles. And look at those lines that go across. There's all kinds of lines that look like uh, rocky outcroppings or something. Uh, like it's sort of a layered kind of a thing. And if you go in close on all of these lines that go from left to right, from left to right, you see them down below all of the the bluff looking places. And you know, for I, I have to use those terms, you know, bluffs and hills and stuff, because uh, what else, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, but I'm not, not at all talking about the kinds of bluffs that, that we're used to. Uh, see down below from the, the top up there, uh, right in the middle, a couple lines going across. You think that's just rock. Uh, you know, it looks natural. It looks perfectly normal. But when you take a closer look, uh, it's something completely different. <laughs> Definitely not normal uh, on Earth terms. Uh all of these lines that we were looking at, when you look close, you can see it's the it's uh, designs, it's metal, uh, it's uh, very frequently uh, you will look at pictures like this and we'll see the shiny metal, uh, depending on how the sun hits it. Uh, and right there, coming in from the ten o'clock position, is the sh a, a typical shape, a very common shape, of some kind of a vessel. Uh, it's pretty raggedy looking, but you can see the fuselage shape. And this is what I'm talking about here. This looks like just a bunch of metal sticking out. It's uh, all kinds of 
uh, strange debris that's hard to understand. That's because it's been eroding for a very, very long time. But down at the bottom, coming up from 7 o'clock, is a huge rack of missiles. And this isn't really uncommon. Uh, we've seen so many missiles, but this is uh, an interesting rack of missiles because there's so many of them and they seem uh, fairly varied. There's one great big one go coming down from the 2 o'clock position. Uh, different shapes, and some of those have the shape of uh, a shape of missile that we're starting to develop right now we'll called a hypersonic missile. Uh, very, very fast. You see these lines going across um, from left to right, perfectly straight. They look normal, but it it's all metal. Everything here, I'm sorry, am I sounding, repeating myself? Everything here is metal. You know, it does look normal. It looks run-of-the-mill from a distance but man when you get close up it's anything but normal look at that that is that metal is so beautiful but there's so much of it it's so it's everywhere and there are pictures that I've shown that I, I literally don't think you can walk I think you would break through a lot of that metal. Um, you know, it's worn thin over the millennia and crystallized and gotten, uh, you know, very uh, brittle. Uh, look at that metal there. Isn't that something else? It looks like we're seeing some kind of technology here too, other than just metal. So as armed as these people were, and as many vessels as they've had in the air, and I assume in space, um, for all of that preparedness, it didn't do them a damn bit of good. Not one single bit of good. Everything and everyone died. At least in Gale Crater. Because this is, this is the only place we've seen these kinds of pictures. But I do have to say, I recently did a video that was a satellite picture from the southern polar region. Uh, I'll put the link in also in my description. Uh, that showed the same type of metal covering the ground as we found on Mount Sharp. And that's a long ways away. So... Uh, so it, you know, probably did happen in more places than Gale Crater, but Mars is still alive, and I have plenty of videos showing that too, and I'm not going to put all my videos in the description, but if you haven't watched before, um, go and look at these because they are unique. Uh, that don't, I don't see too many other people that have uh, these types of uh, these types of pictures. So, anyway. Uh, just as another place, it uh, looks like it has uh, missiles that are loaded up underneath this right here. A couple of missiles, one on, uh, on each side. Very unique shaped. And we see a lot of missiles for whatever reason and fuselages sticking out from the sides of the cliffs. Now look at this thing. Okay, now it, it looks like something with a glass, a square glass top. It looks see-through, does it not? And something on the right side of it crashed down on one side and broke it. And you know how glass, uh, especially safety glass, it, it just kind of feathers all around there. That looks like that's what happened there. So what in the heck is that? That is really a crazy looking thing that and it's fairly good size as well now here's another shot that uh, you know I'm always looking in the background and as I said at the beginning I Mars never ceases to amaze me and this picture is another one of the most amazing 
Uh, so I got back and I started looking at uh, this these hills in the back here and of course they're not hills and I've absolutely uh, wiped out the front of this picture so I could get some definition in the back but in the background here folks these are not hills at all these are a series of very large craft that have come down and you know looking at it I mean the one right in the middle there all the way in back has a couple big holes in it you see that with a uh, big strips of metal coming across the front. Um, the shapes are all familiar. You know, they have these sloping fronts, and uh, which is what you would expect for a hill, but these aren't hills. And even in these pictures like this one here, you can see, uh, just make out the, the metal, the, the strips that I'm talking about. I, I, I gotta think of a better way to say that. It, it covers everything. It's like, the how they put together the hull of a ship in pieces anyway so look at this thing this is a great big ship right here and down in the lower right hand corner is where it came in on it, it ruined the front of it here and uh, you can see the individual sections of the metal on, on this thing and these dark lines are windows and uh, yes well Nothing surprises me. The, the, the sizes of these things is just like the movies. You know, these huge uh, motherships. Because these things, this one here and another one that we saw a little while back in this video, they're huge. They are enormous. And, uh, and they're, they're fairly obvious once you get it cleared up a little bit. Um... It's interesting how the, the this one came in on its nose and it kind of busted that all up down there. But so whoever would have thought that rather than hills in the background, we're looking at giant ships and there's that one up there in the right hand corner it looks like a big old giant gooseneck see that uh, that's just another typical vessel that we've seen over and over uh, they have uh, they're just real long um, real long vessels like just just a big long straight pin with a uh, the front of it looking just like a, like an airplane fuselage, but it's just a big long tube. So anyway, my uh, um, video machine here quit working, and I know I'm still recording, so I'm just going to keep talking. Uh, I'm not sure what we're looking at right now, but uh, I still get back to the amazement of all of these pictures you know the the education that I, that i've gone through thanks to this uh, handful of gigapan pictures if it weren't for those you know we would still be in the dark and i know that many of my viewers um have been following these uh, and and i'm very happy to be able to point out you know what i learn as i go but uh and, and I'm always talking about what I've learned, and that's why I say it's been uh, kind of uh, crazy um, for um, for people who haven't watched any of these before. Um, this is the very top that came back. It's the very top of that vessel there. Isn't that an unusual thing coming out up there? Very unusual. I have no idea what that is. And uh, this is the part I was just talking about a few seconds ago. Uh, this 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 vessel laying down on the ground looks just like a like a goose that got shot down on a Sunday morning. Somebody went hunting. Yeah, look at that. Very unusual. And then above that is another decimated vessel. Uh, you can see it's all full of holes, falling apart. Um, so. Yeah, Mars. This is a place where the hills are not hills. Nothing is what you think it is. 
You know, you'd think that these are all rocks here. They're not. There's nothing here in this picture. Nothing that is natural. It's It boggles the mind. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks, and uh, we'll see you soon.